What's going on guys and welcome back to Aesthetic Quarter. Today we're going to be looking at the third Porsche pack for the game. So we start off with the Porsche 911 GT3 Cup 2017. This is an alright car, it kind of looks to me like a, um, like kind of like a Porsche 911 GT3 RS, but it's a racing version. I guess that's really what it is, it's just a GT3 RS, but a racing version of it, a 2017 version, so I mean this is, I imagine, the kind of newest version of this car that there is out. Um, and it's it's not a bad car, it's, it's you know, it drives nicely, very much like the GT3 RS really. Uh, it's got a big wing on the back, which is always a good thing. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's it's an alright car to drive, not really too much to say about it. Um, it's the sort of race car that I do enjoy because it's more like a road car. Up next, we have the Porsche 911 GT3 R 2016. Now this car um, is, is pretty much just the same as the previous car, um, but an older version. It does look slightly different at the front, slightly different kind of front bumper, but apart from that, I mean the back looks pretty much identical, uh, it's around about the same sort of speed, I didn't check the power and weight figures and stuff like that, but I'm fairly sure they're similar because they both felt when driving them pretty similar. Um, once again it's a 911 GT3, so it's it's basically the same car but a 2016 version, so um, I don't really see the point of this car being in the pack, but eh, I suppose it is a little bit different. Next up we have the Porsche 919 Hybrid 2016. Now, I first drove this car, it's ridiculous, this thing is ridiculously quick. I mean, acceleration is mad, it's absolutely mad. However, then I remembered that in the last pack, we had the 2015 version of this car, and it has the exact same power and the exact same weight as that version. So, why do we have a 2016 version? Um, I mean, it doesn't really seem to drive any different. It's a fun car to drive, yeah, but it's not really any different to the 2015 version. It looks a tiny bit different, but it's not really that noticeable. So, I don't really know what's going on there. I really don't, um, I think it's, there's no, there's just not really any point. Next up, the Porsche 908 LH. This, I believe, is a more classic race car. Um, and it's, it's alright, it looks interesting, to say the least. Um, and it drives kind of like you'd expect a classic race car to drive. It's quite wobbly, uh, you know, it's not, the, it's not the easiest thing to drive in the world. Um, you know, it will kind of wobble around around the corners. When you accelerate, it kind of, you know, wobbles around a little bit. But it's not too bad, the brakes aren't great, but I mean, that's to be expected from a classic race car, I suppose. All around though, it's something a little bit different. It's a very interesting looking car, that is definitely for sure. And it's alright, it's not a bad car. Up next, the Porsche 917K. This is once again, I believe, another classic Porsche race car. Um, and I think this one's more powerful than the the 908. Uh, and I probably do like this one a little bit better, a little nicer handling. Once again, brakes aren't amazing, but, you know, to be expected. Um, once again, a very weird looking car. It looks pretty similar to the 98, 908 from the front, as I outbreak myself massively into that corner. Um, it looks pretty similar to the 908 from the front, but um, from the back it looks uh, quite a lot different and quite quite crazy, to be honest. It's a quite a crazy, crazy car. Um, yeah, once again, it's a nice car to drive. It sounds pretty good as well. I will say that the 908 sounded really amazing when it was kind of just ticking over um, in the pits. It sounded amazing. Um, but yeah, this one sounds good and it's pretty nice to drive as well. Now we got the 911R. Um, this is probably the nicest driving car in the pack. It drives well. I mean, as long as you know, um, with the kind of the GT3 Cup car 2017, um, this is probably one of the better driving cars. It drives it very nicely. I'm not the biggest fan of the looks of it. I prefer Porsches with like the spoilers on the back. You know, like the GT3 RS. Um, this one has the um, Active Aero spoiler, but I'm not as big of a fan of that. I think Porsches look best from the back. When they have a spoiler on, I think they just look better. I'm not a big fan of Porsches from the front in general. Um, this car's okay though, it's a bit bland, it's a bit boring, but it drives alright, it's not terrible, and um, yeah, it's 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 okay, what else can I say? And the final car in the pack is the Porsche 911 Turbo S. This is probably my favourite looking car um, in the pack, uh, road vehicle wise anyway. Um, it, looks, it looks pretty nice, it's not bad, it's pretty much very similar to the car that we just saw then, the 911R, however, um, it's got a spoiler on the back. 
it's got a bigger spoiler and that's what I think just looks I think that makes Porsches look better when they have that spoiler on the back um, and yeah I mean this this Turbo S is is good uh, it doesn't drive quite as nicely as the 911R however it's not bad it sounds good it's a Porsche what do you expect it's it's all right but there we have it that is the third Porsche pack the Porsche pack 3 for a Seto Corsa it was an okay one um, it wasn't terrible. I don't see the point of the hybrid 2016 because it's pretty much just the same as the 2015. The two um, kind of 2017 and 2016 GT3 cars, um, yeah, I probably only really needed one of them. Uh, but everything else is actually not too bad and it, they're all a little bit different, a little bit more variety than the last pack, that is for sure. So anyway, that is going to be it for this video guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please go ahead, like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.